Good morning. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, March 10, 2024. I hope we are all doing well today and I hope that we had a good night's rest. And as we prepare to take on this day, may we go with the Lord and may we look to Him who is able to keep us and also may His peace be with all of us. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 5, reading verses 38 to 44. And it says, Ye have heard that it had been said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. For the foreign loss. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. And I say, Amen. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His word, and we are thankful that we have the word of God which is able to give us instruction, good instruction in how we can better govern our lives and how we treat each other. The reading is a very profound one and one that we can identify with because as we read we realize that the things that are being said here are things that we come across on a daily basis or very often in our lives. In verse 1 it says that an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Has anybody ever said that to you before? Whether they are speaking about somebody else or they are speaking about you. I certainly have heard it. Or they will say, you do me something and me I go do your back. An eye for an eye. No, that's not a good way to live. I do understand that sometimes when others hurt us, we feel the need to respond in kind or even in a more extreme manner. But here the word of God is saying that we should not take that approach, but instead we should repay that evil with kindness. And so instead of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, we do the opposite, okay? Because when you think about it, if we go for the eye and the tooth for a tooth, after a while, everybody's going to be blind because he juke out your eyes and you juke out back his eyes. So nobody can see anymore. He, him lick out your teeth and you lick out back his. So now both of you lose your teeth. So nobody wins. Do you understand? And I know it, it, it's painful to know that somebody hurt you and you know, they are okay. Let's, for, let, let's say for instance, somebody cut you as an extreme example let's say somebody cut you with a knife right your nice skin them scarred they are without this without a scar no you have a scar so they are they are walking around with their pretty skin no you have a scar and your pretty skin no you feel like the ugly duckling no you feel the need that you need to give them a scar too so both of you can be on equal ground but no that is not the way to go we can't fight fire with fire and as i always say we never see a fireman go to outer fire and bring a truck of fire to hold the fire because that is gonna consume the structure even more and much faster but what does the fireman bring he bring he takes with him something that can halt the fire. So something that is complete opposite to the fire. So it's either he takes a fire extinguisher or he takes water or foam. Whatever it is that will cause the fire or the flames to go out. That is what 
he will use. Now, in the same way, we have to take a different approach. Don't fall victim to your nature as a sinner, but instead ask God to give you grace and strength to treat the other person the way that he expects you to treat them. And so it gives the scenario, if somebody asks you to go one mile with them, go two miles. So in other words, you don't have to stick to what is expected of you. You can go beyond that. So, and it went on to talk about loving each other. We should learn to be more loving and more kind towards each other. It is very distasteful and it not very savoring to the palate. Think about it. Do you know how much energy it takes out of you to hate somebody? Why not put all that energy into loving them instead? Because you hating them, it doesn't help you. All it does, it makes you more miserable. It makes you angry. It makes you toxic. And after a while, you just become this person that, you know, is just distasteful to other people because of your attitude or because you allow hatred to poison you come on don't do that to yourselves shine the light of love love your enemies the bible says treat them well yes they persecute you yes they mistreat you yes they prey on you yes they take from you but still love them anyway because when we love others we can spark a change in them maybe not immediately but after a while they can't help but become victim of your love so in other words they realize that with all of them doing this brother and this sister they are still treating you with such kindness after a while it's gonna be nonsensical to them to keep doing you like that yes I agree with you that they are those that will just never succumb to it. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it anyway. Understand? And so, let us take from this reading this morning something that we can use to help guide us in our daily lives in the way how we treat each other because how we treat each other is ultimately how we treat God. Okay? So, May God continue to bless you and may God continue to give you strength and give you the power to overcome the weaknesses that you face each day and the temptation to retaliate when others hurt you. And may He guide your path to righteousness so that you can live for Him each day. May God continue to bless you and may God keep you as you continue to seek Him. Amen.